Hey, how's it going? Um, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm doing, I'm going to continue, finish all these Lico problems. I said I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. You know, I don't care how long it takes me. I'm in the middle of building this course that you guys should definitely go check out. That will be a full course that if you study through, you will be able to pass your technical interviews. I just wrapped up week one and I decided I'm going to continue doing some of these problems now. Um, I'm going to keep doing the course, but I do want to get some more lead code done here because I know people care about those as well. Um, and I'm, these aren't going to be professional quality. They've always been kind of like this. And, uh, you know, that's fine. So let's just get right back into it. Remove all adjacent duplicates and string. Given a string of lowercase letters. So we're going to be given a string S of lowercase letters. Uh, a duplicate removal is consists of choosing two adjacent and equal letters and removing them. So we're going to be doing duplicate removals. Two adjacent letters means these are two adjacent letters, these are two letters, any two letters that are right next to each other. Um, we're get, So when we see two letters right next to each other, they have to be equal as well. So it's adjacent and equal. So B and B are right next to each other and equal. Those are the only two. Now we delete both of these, right? But what happens after that? Then A and A will be right next to each other, and we also need to delete those. And what's left? C and A. So that's what we return. So it looks like we're going to repeatedly make duplicate removals until we no longer can. Um, return the final string after that, and then that will be the answer. So the way we're going to do this is we have to use extra space. I thought about this a little bit. Uh, for a few minutes, I had to think about it, and there is no solution that you don't use extra space. If you find one, let me know in the comments, but I cannot figure it out. Um, this is the fastest it can be is O of N with O of N space, from what I'm seeing. Um, this is my method for it. There's a few ways I know how to do it with this, with that time and space complexity, but we're going to go over uh, using a stack here. And I'm going to implement it using just a char array, so let's just declare that. And we're going to set it the length of the stack to uh, the length of the string. Um, that won't really be used. Usually the, you know, this the stack's going to be used to return our final string. So really you're only going to use about two characters with a space from this. But we're going to use the, um, set the length to, because in case, if there's no duplicates, we're going to be returning the same thing. And in that case, we actually will use a lot more of the space, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, we're going to set a index point. Um, this this I is going to be used to use uh, be tracking indexes of the stack and uh, show the indexes of the final string we want to return. So the concept of this, I'll explain it before and after, is we have a stack and we have a string, right? Our stack is just an empty array of characters right now, and we have the string. We're going to loop through the string character by character. So we're going to loop through like A, B, B, A, C, A, character by character. And we're going to add characters onto the stack, right? And when there's characters in the stack, we're going to ch check on the current character as well. So maybe A is in the stack, right? And then we see B. Is it our A and B equal? No. Now we'll add B to the stack. Or B and, and then we'll keep checking the top of the stack and the current character, and that way we can see if two elements were adjacent. And if they are, we're going to basically, the idea is pop off of the, just remove them and keep going. And then whatever's left at the end is what we're going to return. So we'll go through an example at the end here, but um, let's just code it out. So uh, we have our stack. We're going to do our for loop now. We we'll use j in this case. j is less than s dot length. j plus plus. Um, char current char is equal to... Um, s dot char at j, uh, and then we have these two conditions, right? So first of all, we want to check is i greater than zero. That means that an element is on the stack because i is going to be used to index um, the stack. If i is greater than zero and s dot char at and actually and stack in the top of the stack, which will be stack of i minus one, is equal to current char. So if the top of the stack is equal to the current char, we're going to decrement i, because that's going to be the index used to uh, monitor the stack. And um, otherwise, the elements are not equal, so we can just add it onto the stack, right? So we'll go through an example here. So stack of i is equal to current char. Uh, and then i plus equals 1. 
So that's it. And then we return the new string. You can actually pass in an array of characters into this constructor for a string. And then zero to I. And yeah, that, this will work perfectly. We can submit it here. There we go. We passed. Uh, that was it. That's all we had to do. Let's go over an example really quick so you guys really understand this. So first we have I is equal to zero, right? And we have an empty stack. We have a stack is equal to this. Now let's go, let's go through this. So we're looping, right? We see an A first. So we're going to see an A as our first character when we're looping. Is I greater than zero? No. Automatically, we're not going to do this condition. So we're going to say, okay, stack of zero. So the first character is going to be A, right? Because A is current char. So we put A onto the stack, and then we increment I. So I is now one. Next loop, we see a B. Okay, now we can actually check this condition because I is greater than zero. Okay, so is stack of I minus one, I is one. So is stack of zero equal to B? No, it's not because stack of zero is A. So we're going to do, okay, now stack of 1 is B. So you could really imagine it as like this, whatever, however many characters there are. It's a bunch of zeros, so it's, it's like this right now. And then, okay, so now, and then we increment I, so I is 2. And then next character is B again. So we say, okay, is I greater than 0? Yes. And is stack of I minus 1. So stack of 1 B. Stack of 1 is B. Okay, so this time we actually hit. So I minus minus. So we're going to say, okay, now I is 1. Okay, and then next time around we see an A. We see an A. Okay, is I greater than 0? Yes. Is stack of 0 an A? Yes, we, yes it is. So now I is 0. Okay, now we're at C. So we see stack i is not greater than zero, so we're at c. Stack of i, so stack of zero is equal to c. Stack of zero is equal to c, so we update this. We go, and then i is one. We go around. Um, is i greater than zero? Yes. Is a equal to c? No. So then we do this again, and we set this equal to a. And then what we return is zero to two, zero to two, gives us C and A. It only it makes a string out of this and that's what we return. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't I didn't do it visually. Uh, I don't have a whiteboard because I, I can't afford to pay for an editor and filmer for all these a hundred you know a thousand leak code videos unless I had a ton of money. Um, so that was it. Hopefully you guys understand. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know there's a few implementations of this. There's a two pointer one, but it doesn't really matter. Either way you're gonna need O event space, O event time. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you have any questions and please support me on Patreon if you can so I can continue making higher quality videos in the future. Thanks guys. See you guys in the next one.